Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat, and for today I have an extra fun palette bingo that we're going to be doing. It includes two of my very good friends here on YouTube. You guys already probably know them and love them, but we are doing another collab together. It is with Caitlin, who runs the CPW channel, and I will have hers linked down below. Caitlin is absolutely awesome. She does daily lookbooks for everybody on all different kinds of makeup, and so if you're wanting to see like a bajillion different ways of wearing a palette and having it be like really good for work, definitely her channel is the one to go to. She does the entire look for you, lets you know all the products she's using, does all of the things that I don't do great <laughs> when I'm doing my makeup. So so definitely go check her out and then obviously I had to do a collab with my wonderful friend Debbie from the channel Debutan. She is absolutely amazing. She also was the inspiration for an upcoming video that I have. I'm gonna do a quick flash over for you guys so you can see. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Did we, did we see what might be there? Who knows? But that video is coming up very, very soon, and Debbie was the one that inspired me to do this, so I cannot wait for that video. If you guys like a good, just sit back and look at all the pretty shiny things, that's the video to check out. Uh, I'm not gonna give too many more hints, but it is, let me see here, after this one, it is two videos away. So. Super close. <laughs> so if you guys enjoy any of my collection videos, that is a good one. Uh, so two videos from now, make sure you tune in. So that's probably gonna be Sunday, Sunday's video. All right, enough of that. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a palette bingo for today, just like the title says, and it is with Nomad Cosmetics. So if you guys have any Nomad palettes and you're wanting to play along, grab three palettes, because that is how I am doing my palette bingo. For mine, I am using uh, the three most recent palettes that I picked up. I did not get their most recent like Halloween kind of themed one just because I felt like the majority of those shades I already have and so it just didn't really like it was very beautiful color story but it just didn't really grab me enough to where I wanted to get it. For today though we are going to take a look at these three. I have the Okavango Safari palette, Royal Europe which this is probably one of my absolute favorite palettes. Um, if we're doing like a, let's see who can guess what my top 10 palettes for the year are, <laughs> this is high props gonna be on that list. And then we also have the Verona palette. And this guy is kind of cool how it opens like a book. So check that out. And I just, I think these three are going to be very interesting color stories that we're potentially gonna get because the Okavango is very, very grungy neutral, and <laughs> the Royal Europe is super bold colors, and then the Verona palette is like grungy neutrals and then red. And so I'm like, this is gonna be interesting, but if you guys are wanting to play along, I am gonna be pulling shades from all three palettes. And so if you grab three palettes, you can kind of pick and choose which row you wanna go on, but I am gonna grab my random number generator and we're gonna jump right into this. Hopefully I'll get a better result on this one than we did in the last palette bingo. If you missed that one, I'll link it down below. It could have gone better. I was using three of the Cosmic Brushes palettes and even though I love those palettes, I feel like the look could have turned out better. So it, it is what it is. All right, so for the first row, I am going to use Royal Europe. So for that one, row number one is going to be this row right here. So definitely more of your neutrals. Um, and then also this Imperial Crown is a gorgeous multi-chrome that goes between like brassy to yellow to green. I mean, just beautiful. So we'll see what we get. So I have from one to three. So let's see what we get on here. Blah! Number one. All right. The most boring beige <laughs> that I could have chosen. So that will be the first shade up is going to be Schönbrunn Palace. And I do love how in Royal Europe, quite a few of the shade names are from places in Germany or in Austria that I have actually been to. So Schönbrunn is a very well-known place. And I just, I love that there's some in there where I'm like, I know this. <laughs> All right, so. All right, and then I'm gonna swatch that guy so we can see the entirety of the color story. So here it is. 
Oh, and that is a creamy, creamy matte shade. Very, very nice, nice just tannish sand shade, but so soft and creamy, which bodes very well for blending later on. <laughs> it would be kind of cool if we ended up just getting primarily neutral shades and then just had bonkers shimmer shades. That would be kind of cool. So the next one that we're gonna grab from is the Okavango palette, which I do, I mean, just the fuzzy on here. I love it. Like I, anything fuzzy. My phone case is fuzzy. I've got my phone case right here. It is covered in fluff. So anything fuzzy, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> All right, so for row two, we have these guys right here to potentially choose from. This would be very interesting, the zebra shade. Who knows? But here we go. Let's see, one, two, or three. It is number three. Oh man, all right. So we are gonna end up using this kind of striped zebra shade. It is the Migrating Zebras. Let's give that a swatch of Rooney. It is not quite as soft of a, of a shade as the matte shade was, but here we go. Oh, all right. So what is very cool about this, so first off, that is a gorgeous chrome silver. Holy smokes. But then on top of it, even with me swirling my finger in there, it didn't ruin the design, which also lets you know one of the really awesome things is the amount of quality that Nomad puts into their shades. The fact that that didn't ruin the design lets you know that it is throughout. It's not just a top coat that they put on there. So that mixture, you're gonna get that gorgeous mix throughout the entire thing because it is the whole way through. That's awesome. Okay, very, very nice. I am already excited about this because silvers and neutrals, I can make that work. All right, so the next one is going to be from the Verona palette, which I will say out of the three of these is my least favorite for half of it. And it's one of those interesting things where it's like, this side, least favorite. We, we know I hardly ever wear like reds and pinks and mauve shades. I just find that with my particular skin complexion, it makes me look like I have pink eye. <laughs> and it just, it doesn't go great. But if I mix the shades with other shades and create like a sunset look, it goes much better. But this side of the palette, 1000%, I can get behind. So, it's kind of unfortunate that for row three, I really only have these to choose from because that's already gonna mess this up. Maybe, ooh, I hope by some magic it's this deeper shade because then we can just use that to kind of smoke out the neutral look. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's see what we get on here. Two. All right the Romeo shade, which is the shimmery duochrome. <laughs> All right, this one is definitely, um, gives off a bit of a feel like hard pan when you're putting your finger in there. So it is a little bit of a stiffer shade, but clearly no problem applying it. And it is a red base, kind of a corally red base, and then a pinkish to purple on top. So, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be another interesting one. Last time the pink was what did me in. We'll see if the pink is again the one that kind of ruins it for me, we'll see. So the next shade that we're gonna get is gonna be from row, f oh my God, from row four of the Okavango, which is this row right here. So we either have kind of like a tiger stripey shade, a jaguar-y shade, or uh, another, this one is like a just a tiny bit of sparkle, but a deeper brown. Realistically, I'm again hoping for this shade. I have no idea what I'm gonna do if I get that guy. So let's, let's hope for not to. Oh, it paused for a second on the two and I was like, no! Okay, so it looks like it is the Roaring Lions shade, which is that top shade. Uh, this guy has a similar feel to the metallic uh, as what the pink shade did. So let's see here. This is a very shimmery look that we're gonna be getting. Um, I will say though that this guy, uh, this particular metallic, would layer very nicely with this shade. So I'm not super upset about that. 
Um, it is just a very nice kind of brassy uh, metallic shade would go very nice with that. So, so far, again, the pink is the only one that's confusing me, but we'll see how we do. <laughs> okay, so that is the Lion's shade. And then the next one that we have on here is going to be from Royal Europe. Oh man, so row five is going to... You know what? Honestly, this could actually end up working out because this whole row is red. So, you know, it, it could be worse. Uh, let's see what we end up getting. So number one again, and number one is a matte shade that is uh, Pena Palace, that is this guy right here, which is a bit of a deeper cranberry shade. So I'm not, oh, it's like butter. These matte shades, I tell you what, Nomad's mattes are so nice. Look at that, how rich that shade is. And I can actually work with this because this is not bad at all. We've got two really good reddish pink tones, two really good beigey brown tones, and then the silver. So I definitely think I can make a look out of this pretty easily. So let's go ahead and get to work on that. I will be using uh, Singe Beauty brushes. <laughs> I need to sit down. I was like kneeling the whole time. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me bring it down to my level here. <laughs> so um, I will be using singe brushes. I've been using them for a couple weeks now. Um, just kind of trying to test them out, see how I like them. And they're, they're not bad. I think one of the things that I enjoy the most is that they have three different blending brush sizes. So for each of these three, you have three different so if you're someone that has a lot more space on their lid, you can use the bigger blending brush, um, or you can use either of these two that are like medium and small on there. And I have very small lid space, so this guy is the main one that I've been using. Um, and then I have not tested out the two different packing brushes that they have. So this one is definitely more similar, this guy right here, to what I normally use. It's a rounded top and then just kind of floofy all around, whereas this guy is a bit more tapered uh, and ha ends kind of in a bit more of a point. So very interesting for both of them and so I'm, I'm definitely wanting to give a go to a few more of these and see how I like them. So what I think we're gonna do is something I haven't actually done in a little while. I think I'm going to do a halo eye. So we'll have this darker cranberry matte shade on the inside and outside corners and then I will have the tan in the center and then that way we can kind of have this guy be a little bit more of the star of the show. And then I might use him in the inner corner or I might just keep this guy as the inner corner um, and leave the outside portion more matte and then have this one maybe be a topper shade to kind of blend with some of the other shimmer shades. I'm gonna wait on the silver to see how I feel, but we'll start with a halo eye and then kind of go from there. So I am starting off with the medium sized blending brushes. The, this is the Echo 02. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna dip into the red shade to do the inner and outer corners first and definitely doing my eyes first before I do my makeup. Yeah, this is probably gonna get everywhere, so that was a wise decision. <laughs> That is very, very pigmented already. Wow, I mean, that is also something I love about the Nomad shades is they are so pigmented. It takes like zero effort to apply them and get just instant color payoff. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. All right, that is very pigmented so far. <laughs> But I'm also not super duper concerned about like going over the edges and everything right now because I am planning to clean this up. Um, that's also part of, I know I know that I normally do my face first, but I've been getting back into doing my eyes first because I'm wanting uh, to be able to clean it up more with the concealer. 
and create like a little bit of a sharper line since I know that I'm not great at a winged liner. I'm kind of wanting to use the cleanup to create that sharp kind of line on there a bit more. <laughs> so, I mean, very, very pigmented. I having a hard time telling if it's coming across more reddish to you guys in the viewfinder or not, because to me, this is definitely like a cranberry borderline into a raspberry. <laughs> Um, and so it is a very, very deep, deep shade, but is going on just absolutely gorgeous and minimal fallout for, for me having used a blending brush like this. Um, not a ton of fallout. The majority of it is just as soon as I blow up towards my face, it's just been going away. So that's not bad at all, but we will get into the brown next. And for that, I'm going to switch over to the tapered packing brush. This is the Echo 01. So we will jump into that now. So that went on really, really easy on that lid and that was with one dab in. So that's not bad at all. I do, however, notice that the brush is shedding a little bit. I have like a little bit of some specks on my cheek from the brush. So that is interesting. So now I'm going to go into the big blending brush. This is the Echo 03, and I'm going to soften all the edges. You know, with blending this out, uh, this look kind of reminds me of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> so like, as, I'm, as I'm blending it, that is immediately where my brain is going to. Um, but it's definitely buffing out very very easily and then I'll be able to clean it up with the concealer and everything so we are going to move into the under eye and then start adding on the shimmers. All right so for the under eye I was not wanting to go vampire and so I kept the majority of it to more of the beigey brown shade and so now we're gonna go into the shimmer shades so for that, I will be trying out the packing brush that is the Echo 04, uh, which is that more rounded tip. And we will go into the pink first for this inner portion. To kick the habit that my mind is breathing in. Break out, I've got to see. Okay, well the blue sparkle definitely changes the whole vibe of the look. Um, it, uh, it's just kind of, of a fun little bit of extra on there. And I also think that the silver will layer beautifully with that in the front. So I think that is what we will do next. And then we will go in with the like super strong bronze metallic at the end. So that's silver is actually blending in beautifully with the blue. So you're getting a little bit of silver and a little bit of blue, which is making the red turn a bit more purple, which I think is super fun. So yes, I think that's as far as I'm gonna take it with the silver because I think that is just adding a nice little bit of extra to the look. And I'm also noticing that my eyes are uneven where this guy has way more red going on than the other one did. So we'll, we'll fix that. <laughs> Add a bit more silver to hide it. You'll never know. <laughs> I think that's also one of my favorite things to do is when, um, when I feel like the colors are not necessarily, uh, staying where I want them to on my eyes. I'm like, add more, more shimmer. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> So now the final thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the center with the lion shade and I will use my finger for that guy. Even though uh, the texture is, is a little bit smoother than the pinkish blue one, I just really want that impact in the center. Okay, so that is all taken care of. So I will clean everything up and throw the rest of my makeup on and be back to show you guys the final result. I still need to figure out what kind of, ooh, you know, I could use a multi-chrome as my liner in my waterline. That could be fun. I'm gonna think about it. 
I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, and we're back with the final look. So I think I'm slowly getting better with the lines where they're not quite as like rounded and not really solid, but definitely still work to be done. Um, but I really like how the look came together. I think that the silver mixed in like really really helped the blues in this pink to kind of pop a little bit more so i'll come in close so you guys can see how it all looks and i went with just a fairly low-key liner on my under eye um it was one of the nyx uh like liners that they have and it was gold but i found that the nyx liners they if you have watery under eyes like I do, they last for like two seconds. <laughs> so they're not the best liners, but I just felt like that was the only shade I had that would even remotely kind of tie the whole look together and really bring out a little bit more of the brown that was on the under eye because I feel like the red is very overwhelming. I'm feeling very vampire-y right now. <laughs> but I think overall the whole thing turned out really, really nice. I will say that of the three, the Royal Europe is by far my favorite. The mattes are so, so buttery. And the multi-chromes, this entire bottom row is all multi-chromes and they are just absolutely gorgeous. And so if you have not picked this guy up, highly recommend picking it up. These other two, the Verona is probably one of my least favorite ones from Nomad just because I don't normally do reddish kind of looks. <laughs> and the Okavango, I mean, this packaging, I could just, I could just do this all day. <laughs> and I really, as far as neutral palettes go, it's a really, really nice one. It's definitely more on the grungy side, which we know I love, so really really good palette but i would love to know what you guys think of how the look came together definitely prefer this look to the last palette bingo that we did i would love to know what you guys think of this one um, i'm trying to get a little bit better at like blending and getting a little more glam with the sharper lines and hopefully one day i'll actually be able to do some kind of graphic liner work Falk was like, I approve. I'll give you a nose boop. So <laughs> let me know what you guys thought of everything. And again, definitely go check out Caitlin and Debbie's videos. I'll have their channels linked down below. They dropped their videos at the same time that I dropped mine. So go check them out. Let them know what you think of their videos. We wanted to do this collab as just kind of a way for you guys to be able to see from three very different creators all kinds of different looks and so that way you guys can just see a whole bunch from all different kinds of people so let me know what you guys thought of mine and definitely let them know that i sent you if you have not checked them out before both of them are absolutely amazing creators give me a thumbs up if you like this thumbs down if you did not as we always do here and the next video that you guys have to look forward to is going to be the highlighter review video and then after that we have the massive single eyeshadow just reorganization thing going on over there. So definitely stick around for both of those. But other than that, you guys just go have a good one.